Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the Steam kind of tutorial slash showcase. And uh, today we're not going to be talking about Steam games. We're going to be talking about another part of Steam that's actually pretty big, but it does not get showcased enough. Uh, it doesn't really get shown on the front page. Obviously, games are a huge seller, so that's kind of what they show on the front page. But this is actually a good place to find some good deals on uh, software. And obviously, you have, you know, I would consider it the Steam guarantee, but. You know, sometimes when you download software in other places on the internet, you have a chance. You know, th th it's kind of better than it used to be from a long time ago, but you still have a chance of getting like a virus or something of that nature, right? Or a keylogger, and nobody wants that. But Steam does actually have a pretty big um, software collection. So, how do you get there? So, this is the front page right over here. You're going to want to go to categories, and you're going to want to go to special sections, go all the way down until you see software. You click on software, and as you can see, they actually have a very good selection. And also, I'm going to show you some things like the week-long deals, um, which are very, very good. But as you can see, if you scroll down here, you can see the top sellers, the new and trending. But one thing I want you to look at here is the categories. So there's a lot of good categories on stuff that you might be interested in, stuff that you might want to learn, stuff that you know could help you with whatever you're doing. As you can see, you have utility, software, education, video production, audio production, indie, design, animation, game development, software training, uh, early access, web publishing. So let's go for example, uh, audio production. As you can see, you have a sound pad. Let's see, amazing reviews. A lot of these have amazing reviews, um, and you can really, you know, it's it's a good way to kind of parse through what you know what a lot of people use and kind of you know get into whatever industry you want to get into right so you know you obviously people go on steam to play games but you can also go on steam to you know learn something or help you with a project or something you know what regardless of where you're doing it from and i think this is a very good thing and also one thing is obviously you can add these to your wish list just like a steam game and um they do go on sale you can get a good, good price on a lot of this stuff. If you just wait a little bit, you know, the Steam sales, they do include this as well. They're just not shown on the front page, unfortunately. But um, if we go to, let's go back just a little bit. Now, this is the software page. If we go to week-long deals, you have some really crazy deals sometimes. Yeah, these are kind of like, you know, old type of games. These are like uh, Facebook type of games, you know what I mean? Look at this. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, these are kind of funny. But at the same time, you could find some good stuff here, um, you know, occasionally, you know, whenever whenever it's uh, there. But, um, yeah, go check out the software section. It is not, like I said, it's not very much advertised. But if you go to categories, special oh, categories, special section, software, you can find some good softwares. You can um, obviously cross check them like, oh, is this good? You know, Google, you know, the normal stuff that everyone does. And you can find yourself a program. You might get interested in it. Then you might be able to create something. And then guess what? Hey, it could turn into, you know, a passion, a career, anything. So uh, go check it out. Uh, go have fun with it. There's a lot of stuff that's free to play as well to kind of get you into the scene of whatever you're trying to get into. So uh, go off and uh, be safe. See you in the next one.